you're clearly not who I thought you were and I don't understand why you've done that. My name is Mike, I'm 26 years old and you'll know me best for appearing on the winter season of Love Island. I don't know why I'm single. <laughs> well, maybe because I've not met the one yet, the right person, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'm single. I don't know what I'm hoping to find in the villa, but I am open to finding something. So obviously that is why I'm here and you never know, hopefully I can find someone. What I look for in a partner, I look for someone that's honest, someone that's able to communicate, someone that isn't afraid um, to kind of speak their mind and open up. I feel like that's really important in a relationship. My relationship history isn't really that expansive. I've had two maybe serious relationships and other than that, I've kind of dated sporadically. There's one ex that I'd be happy to see come out of the water. Yeah, name's Amber. <laughs> Wouldn't mind seeing Amber again. There's a couple exes that um, I, I don't think it would be comfortable seeing them in the villa. I ain't gonna say no names, <laughs> but yeah, there's a couple exes that I wouldn't really wanna see come out the water. If I saw someone else with my ex in the villa, I don't really know how I'd react, but ultimately we're all adults. So I'd like to think I can keep a mature head and allow them to crack on. I'm not going to lie, there's not really a lot of embarrassing dating stories for me. I'm not really a big dater, but when I do date, I, uh, I keep it sweet, keep it short, steady. <laughs> My most romantic date, um, I can't really call it a date, it was more of a holiday. I flew a girl out to a destination that she really wanted to go to. We went to a nice romantic dinner overseas and then came back the next day. The worst date that I've been on was being catfished. Um, it wasn't pretty, <laughs> it wasn't pleasant. Um, and I was, I was younger back then as well, but yeah, that, that has haunted me. That's probably the worst date I've been on. I'm still a nice person, so I gave her a chance. You know, I let her sit down. I was like, Do you know what? Um, I'll be honest, like, you're clearly not who I thought you were, and I don't understand why you've done that. And I'm, I'm a very straight up person, so I was just completely honest. And I feel like when you start any interaction on, on dishonesty, then, you know, it's kind of hard for things to progress. So I, I was just like, yeah, I don't think it's going to work out. And I was respectful and left it as that. My biggest turn on is a confident person. I like people that are um, confident in themselves and, and they allow their personality to shine through. That's a, that's a real big turn on for me. And my biggest turn off is someone that is dishonest and doesn't know how to communicate their emotions. For me, that's a bit of a turn off. Yeah, my worst habit, um, which you guys will probably see is I love to comb my beard and touch my beard and just play with my beard all the time. It's actually disgusting. I need to stop and find a new habit, but I can't help it. I don't know if I can call it a hidden talent, but I am a very musical person. I know a lot of people um, might know that there's, there's a little bit of a songbird in there. I play the piano as well, which a lot of people didn't know. So yeah, man, I'd say that's probably my hidden talent. 